Hey guys, what's up? Lord Meacher again here, your lord of video games. And welcome to another episode of Trails of Cold Steel 3. Last time, we actually fought the big baddies. Who? The Stall Rider. And Aryan Road. And that's how it's called. It said, Aryan Road. I did not even think that's how it was pronounced. Anyway, we are picking right where we left off. We left. We saved Milliam from their clutches, and we're now here in Ordis. But, yes, there are going to be some things to do, apparently, and just enjoy the festival. But, I kind of want to explore the places that I can right now by teleporting. This is fishy. This is very fishy. We can't explore anything except Ordis and Arrow's Coaster Road. Why? I want to see why, then. Hmm. Oops. <laughs> Shut your ass up. Oh, they're gonna... Alright, there you go. Perfect. Oh, we get horses here. Let's ride! Are you fucking kidding me? What are you doing out here, Annabelle? Girl! Girl! What? The fishing spot is all the way over there, though. Okay. Each their own. What's going? Ah, I've never had a session of night fishing quite this lovely before. The lights in the distance, dancing in the water. It really ignites my angler soul. <laughs> I'm feeling great. I bet it I could even fish up a blue marlin. I've kind of done that right now. Sorry! Annabelle sure is something else. She's not even budging a single edge. Oh yes, I nearly forgot. The Imperial Fishing Club recently sent me a few prizes in the mail. Monster prizes was this book. I don't think I'll have the time to get to it, unfortunately, so perhaps you should take it. <laughs> I'm certain it would be much happier in the hands of someone who would read it. Ah, uh, little does it know I don't read. Ah. <laughs> uh. I agree. Thank you very much. Well, Kurt reads. Hey, we got a profile too. Perfect. Thank you, Annabelle. It's almost magical. It feels like the perfect way to welcome the spirits of animism. Animism, yep. This is gorgeous though, jeez. Oh, oh, why are you crying, girl? I'll help you. What do I do? Stop crying. I'll find them. Hmm. Making a woman cry. Ugh. Ash. It's not what you think. Sheesh. Don't, they, don't tease kids. Do you know this person, Ash? Yeah, he's Yuta. He was one of the neighborhood kids. He lived with his grandmother and little sister. Was I came here to work. <laughs> Stop treating me like a kid. I'm actually pretty good at delivery goods here. A pretty good delivery guy here in Ordis. So, what's going on here? This doesn't look like part of your job. This girl seems like a noble. How interesting. Well, my name is Charlotte Rackham. I met Yuta for the first time just the other day. She's supposed to meet her dad here in Ordis, but he's running late. She seemed worried, so I thought I'd show her around. I'd been having so much fun spending time with Yuta, but the next thing I knew I'd lost the pendant my mother gave me. It's my memento of her. So you dropped it. <laughs> yes, I don't know what to do. <laughs> you don't need to worry about it. I know Ordis like the back of my hand. I'll definitely find it. I swear I'm not going through puberty and my voice hasn't changed three times. So stop crying. <laughs> this kid acts like he's all grown up. What do you want to do? I'm a little worried. Well, as usual, I'll leave the decision making to you guys. Let's see. Let's help her. Yeah, it would be a waste to spend the summer festival crying. It's, it's decided. <laughs> Fine. 
Hey, just what this pendant looks like. We'll help you out. What? Really? Yeah, we're definitely looking for it. We'll definitely find it. If we're all looking for it, we'll definitely find it. Okay, I kind of can't read tonight. Long day at work. Okay, thank you. Did you hear that, Charlotte? Yes. It's a Carnelia, pen a Carnelia pendant. You said it had a dark hue, right? Yes, it has a distinct depth to it. You will be able to recognize it right away. I retraced all my steps today, but I couldn't find it. I've been looking for about an hour. That long? Where do you think you could have dropped it? Well, I was really excited. Yeah, we're running around Ordis playing tag. This isn't going to be easy. Since the whole city's gonna be a real pain. Well, I hope no one took it. I'm afraid of that too. Well, this will just have to go around and look for it. You may have overlooked it in the dark too. But Charlotte, you should just rest for a while. But I I'm the one who lost it. He's right. Charlotte, you've been walking around for hours. I'm sorry, but I'm going to send you back to the hotel to wait for us, okay? <laughs> you got nothing to worry about. We got all these people helping out. Yeah, you can rely on us. Yura, and everyone else. I'm so sorry. Thank you for helping me look for my mother's pendant. Yeah, leave it to us. Somewhere outdoor in Ordis. It's a big area to search, but we should be able to find it. Heh, <laughs> just kick back and relax. After walking Charlotte back to the hotel, they headed back to the harbor and start their search. Why back to the harbor? But okay. Keepsake lost. There are so many people! <laughs> I feel so giddy all of a sudden! Easy there, girl. Well, why not tour the place for some festival souvenirs? There's also this. Ooh, what's this? Please tell me this is it. Oh, red gemstone, not it, right? It is? This is the Carnelia. Yeah, but it's just a gemstone. Where's the rest of it? What could have happened? Maybe the pendant itself broke and the Carnelia fell off? Doesn't look like the gem has any scratches on it, though. It might not be complete, but at least we were able to find it. I wish this were a greater success, but... We should go back and report this anyway. Should we? Oh, she- they're just gonna take it immediately! What? Huh? Where's Yuta? Maybe he's looking elsewhere. Hey, you guys! Hey, Yuta. Charles' pendant shattered. Huh? How do you know that? Because I found this. Oh. Okay. Oh, I see. So you found the base. Huh? That means... Yeah, well, we found this. What? You found the gem? It's good we found it, but... She's gonna be sad to see it like this. I'm just try and fix it. She's a crybaby, so I need to do something about this. Thanks, guys. I need to go do something. <laughs> Seems like you came up with a good idea. <laughs> We're gonna go back now. Don't take too long, Yuta. All right. Ah, uh, young love. Ah, uh, such is youth. Will he be able to fix it that easily? Well, we'll just have to leave that to him. Ash, you, you're pretty nice to him. Yeah, you kind of treat him like a little brother or something. <laughs> it's not like that. It's just that he's a crybaby. He always got picked on, so he was always crying. Though, working has a bunch has really manned him up a bunch. Oh, I see. Boys grow up fast, you know. <laughs> 
Well, let's head back to Lady Charlotte for now. And so they headed back to the hotel and talked with Charlotte. About 30 minutes later, Yuta showed up. Delivering the fixed pendant, right? I see. I had an acquaintance look at it in his workshop, but he couldn't fix it completely. But he's a really handy old man. He did this instead. Here, I hope this is okay. Pear pendant. Another setting is gently wrapped around the original broken one. Hmm. Wow, this is more than okay. They, it's amazing. Is that an engraving of Undyne? Mm -hmm. We did it. We did find the jewel near the Undyne statue. I see. So you had a decoration while reinforcing the setting. <laughs> That's pretty nice. Well, I really couldn't think of anything else. I'm, I'm sorry that I couldn't fix it completely. You don't need to apologize, Yida. The decorations are beautiful. They really match my mother's memento well. Today was really stressful, but it turned out to be unforgettable. You think so? I'm glad! <laughs> hey, Yuda. I... Charlotte, what are you doing? Her dad. My lady, sorry for being late. And who are these people with you? Oh, father, you came. Oh, these people are... Pardon us. We are from Thor's Military Academy's branch campus. We are here to support the Provincial Army in Ordis. Ah, so you're security for the Imperial Provincial Council. So you prevented that commoner from getting close to my daughter? Hmm, <laughs> very good. What? What? Come on, Charlotte, let's go. Uh, okay. Uh, what? You're a prick. I hate you. Thank you, Hira. I'll see you again. Oh, that's cute. Uh. <laughs> well, well, well. That's so adorable. What's this? Got yourself a little summer fling? Good for you, I guess. You're on your way of being a man. Uh, uh, leave me alone. But thanks. You guys are really helpful. So here, take this. Brave soul. Later, guys. I thought it was going to give us Mira. Like, what? 4,000 Mira, kid? What? <laughs> <laughs> See you again soon, Charlotte. I swear, if I get 4,000 mirror from this quest, I am. I'm done. I see. So this is you. <laughs> it looks like the bittersweet kind. Well, it isn't really any of our business. I think the case is closed. We should get going now. Yes, we should. And 3,000. <laughs> That's cute. Oh, I thought I was talking to her. I was talking to her husband all along. Oh, <clears throat> <laughs> really? <laughs> Wow. I should probably report to Monk. <laughs> I've been waiting, Rain. Give me the dirt. So, here's what I've heard. Rain told a story that could be used for a radio, even though it's a really sweet story. <laughs> That's good stuff. I'll send you your prize. It should be there by tonight, so keep an eye out. You didn't have to do that, Monk, but thanks. I don't have any... I already saw the thank you message from P. Oh, we didn't check these out. Sorry, guys, I completely forgot. We saw this, right? Yep. Bennett. 
Wendy. Shanshan. Becky! Ferris. Ooh, that's very elegant. And that's it. I have so many of these things. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, I guess the restaurants are giving us stuff. Sweet! We are getting everything. So we're visiting shops and getting free stuff. That's actually good. Except him, I guess. Oh, sunshine punch. So oh, everybody's outside. Hey guys, how's it going? Thank you very much for the gifts. We will. Thank you. Let's see what else we find. Alright, well, with nothing else, let us be on our way to camp. We enjoyed quite a bit of the festival. It might be a good, idea, a good time to return to camp. There's no telling what might happen tomorrow. It'd be good to be well rested and prepared. Yes. Let's go. That night they returned to camp, passed out the souvenirs, and talked about what they were going to do, to do the day after. Despite the festival atmosphere, the instructor's warming, warning hung in the back of the students' minds. Ouroboros and the Jaegers would definitely make a move. The students were nervous, but unit souvenirs lifted their spirits, and they decided to go to bed early to get ready for tomorrow. And then... At least everyone's asleep. And we're missing people in beds, of course. Way too much happened today. Went to the island, found the guardian. I saw some strange vision. I met that mysterious girl again. She gave me a hickey. <clears throat> and on top of that, we crossed paths with a steel maiden and him. So much. Hmm. Seems like someone went out. And I should get to sleep, but I'll go check real quick. Hey, you headed out again? Oh, sorry, did I wake you up? Wait, again? Did you notice last night too? Yeah, I could sense it. <laughs> Sounded like you sure were getting along with Sarah and the mayor, eh? Jeez. They think I run into another baby face pool, eh, boy, here? What? No, it's not like... Wait, you know someone else like that? Yeah, he looks real young, but he's crazy, though. Every beautiful woman he meets becomes his fan. He's got pretty nurses, even star actresses after him. Uh, I see. I think I might know who you're talking about. Just so you know, you're just as bad as he is. <laughs> oh boy, Lloyd and Reen. Let me actually take a bath. Oh, this is nice. Oh. What are you doing? I almost left. I didn't even see you here. <laughs> I 
That was it? Oh, I thought you had something else. Who is outside? Ash? Huh? <clears throat> Listen, I'm done with this. Hmm. I'm tired of doing every damn thing you say. Oh, come on. No need to throw a fit. I know both those voices. Look, I I'm not gonna force you to do anything. You're basically looking at you Ash. You can't tell me you don't see the parallels between Sutherland and Lemaire. <sighs> yeah, it's all starting to connect. Walking that mountain road barefoot, crying the whole way. The old man taking me under his wing. Him putting me on that night train or whatever. Coming to this sparkling place, meeting you know who. <laughs> I really know some good hearted people. I see. Just as I suspected. Son of a. Then why didn't you just tell me? If I did, would you have accepted it? You're the one who said you wanted to see for yourself. Shit. Whatever. This doesn't change my stance on things one bit. This is about the mastermind now, so stop keeping info from me. Yeah, see, that's gonna be kind of tough. I don't think you're gonna find anything good this time around. Sounds like you got a heck of a day ahead of you tomorrow. You should hurry off to bed. Wouldn't want that instructor hanging over your shoulder to get mad after all. When the hell did you... Am I supposed to apologize here or start interrogating you? Oh. That's a military communication device. Did Lecter get that for you? Bingo. It's an encrypted line. <laughs> Why are you talking, Lecter? Shut the fuck up. Uh, don't tell Milliam or Black Rabbit, by the way. They don't know about this. Huh. Anyway, nighty night, you two. Nighty night, Lecter. <sighs> it's like he's always watching from somewhere. Well, you got something to say? Not really. But Lecter's always struck me as suspicious. Can't say I'm surprised Altina isn't his only operative in Class 7. But you're not exactly part of the Intelligence Division, are you? Hell no, they don't do shit for me. I got accepted into Thor's all on my own. Scarecrow didn't pull any strings. I believe it. But if he didn't help you, why are you working with him? Huh. There was something I wanted to know. He told me that enrolling at the branch campus would be the fastest way to get that info. Lecter said that? I caught a bit of your conversation, but what exactly is it that you want to know? None of your business, that's what. Ash, come on. Well, you gonna tell the Rakshasa on me now? Huh? Look, I give Scarecrow info, he gives me info. So yeah, I guess that does make me a spy for the intelligence division. Way the hell worse than the little bunny. If this got out, I'm sure I'd be expelled in a heartbeat. <sighs> <laughs> What's so funny? The hell are you laughing at? <laughs> no, I'm laughing. Wait, you're not serious, are you? You always act like you've got it all figured out, but as soon as you have to deal with something personal, you lose sight of everything else. <laughs> sorry, sorry. No need to glare at me like that. It's just, with Altina here, the whole spy thing is kind of irrelevant. Besides, do you really think our principal would expel you? <laughs> well, That's true. You know... <laughs> Look, I'll tell you right now, that's not going to happen. If anything, she might egg you on. I can just imagine it. A spy, are you? Let's see you try to attack me in my sleep. Stop, just stop. Don't even joke about that. <laughs> Man, I'm surrounded by nut jobs. <laughs> Reminds me of the Dragon Ball's line. I'm surrounded by idiots. I get it. I'm safe from the principal. But what about you, Instructor Reen? Even if you don't punish me, you've got to have some problem with this, right? I'm right under your nose feeding Adios knows what info to the Intelligence Division to get what I want. Hell, that's the only damn reason I joined Class 7. So how does it benefit you to have some shady asshole like me in your class? 
And you're my student. You're my little buddy. Do you really think I'm a teacher just because it benefits me? Listen, Ash. I'm grateful to be where I am right now. But for the longest time, I hated my life. I hated being separated from my classmates after only one year. I hated being the Ashen Chevalier, forced to follow the government's every demand. I hated that I was abandoned as a child and that I had these powers I couldn't control or explain. To top it all off, I even lost someone very close to me. But I refuse to believe all of that suffering was for nothing. And I think you're the same way. <laughs> talk. <laughs> Give him the talk, Reed. One of your famous speeches. I don't know your background, but I can tell that you were loved by the person who raised you. Because despite your prickly exterior, you're a caring person. And you're always there for your friends. Yeah, you would think that. What? You don't <laughs> think that's important? Like I'm just keeping you around for your acts? I mean, I think you're an impressive enough fighter, but everyone has room for improvement. For example, Kurt might be struggling right now, but he's a genius with those swords. Even Yuna, her police academy background gives her a toughness and perseverance that no one else can match. Altina, meanwhile, is a top-class agent. Not a lot of students can make that claim. And Musei, well, I'm still trying to figure Musei out. <laughs> <laughs> Muse, well, is Muse. <laughs> yeah, I think I get it. I'm just trying to say that one way or another, your classmates are having an impact on you, and vice versa. Whether that's a good thing or a bad thing is up to you to decide. You asked me how your presence in the class benefits me, but that's not what matters. As long as you find meaning in what we're doing, you have a place in Class 7. I just want to be there to help you along. That's all. You... <laughs> Come on, don't laugh at me. <laughs> How can you say that stuff with a straight face? Did I get dropped into some radio drama when I wasn't looking? <laughs> hey, if you've got a problem with being in special operations, take it up with the principal. She threw you in with us, but just to let you know, I'm happy you're in my class. I mean that. Ah, oh, stop. You're going to drown me in all this sap. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to turn in. I'm done for the day. You're tiring me out with all this mushy soul barren stuff anyway. <laughs> Can you blame me? It's a perfect night for it. The moon's pretty good. <laughs> Can't argue with that. Tomorrow's gonna be a shit show, right? If you plan yep. on leading us, you're gonna need your sleep too. No kidding. Night, Ash. Don't flip me off! What? What? He just flipped me off! And when do you plan on going to bed? Muse, right? Um, yep. You caught me. Yep. You're another strange I one too. I wasn't trying to eavesdrop. Mm -hmm. I was just so worried about tomorrow that I needed to take a walk to clear my head. Sure. By the way, why don't you treat me the way you treat Ash? <gasps> Wait, are the two of you love? Shut Absolutely the fuck up. Not. Stop right there. But I'm guessing you overheard what Ash and I were talking about. Oh, don't worry about that. My lips are sealed. I'm not going to seal them for you if that's what you're going to insinuate I next. I admit that Ash's private life has me curious, but I'll refrain from digging up his secrets for now. Please do. I have a <laughs> feeling that if you looked into it, he wouldn't have any secrets left to keep. Oh yep. my. Did you purposely let me listen to your conversation? Yeah, I noticed you right away. When I was telling Ash about how you can all inspire and elevate each other, I was speaking to you too. Albeit, about a different topic. Mm. Mm. These last two weeks have revealed something to me. Huh? Kurt's a genius. 
Ash is a ball of talent. Yuna's stronger than your average person, and Altina has a special history. Okay. But you? You're different than any of them. And it's a little unnerving. <laughs> your attitude, your jokes, your every move, they're all carefully calculated. You know exactly what effect you're having on people. And it seems like it's child's play to you. Huh. Ash called you a harpy, but that doesn't begin to cover it. You're like a top-level chess player, thinking hundreds, if not thousands, of moves ahead. Am I wrong? Yeah. I must admit, I'm surprised. I knew you were smart, Instructor, but it's like you've stripped me bare. Why do you have to use that analogy? Really? To think you'd cut to the core of me so quickly. Stop. <laughs> How did you manage to do that? How did you see through me? Oh boy. Did it perhaps have something to do with your eight leaves, one blade training? It's called the unclouded eye. I rid myself of any preconceived notions and look towards someone's true nature. Hmm. What is this? My head feels so fuzzy. Uh oh. <laughs> I see. So, if you were to master it, nothing could escape your sight. I really do want you. Not as the Ashen Chevalier or as Elise's big brother. I want you, instructor, heart and soul. Whoa, whoa, Mise, Mise. <laughs> She's doing something on purpose. <sighs> right? That was a close one. I've told you this before. Don't tease adults like that. Some of them might not take your little jokes in stride. Hmm? That wasn't even a joke. She, I feel like she was so serious about <laughs> what that. What a shame. Someone I looked up to once taught me a spell to make the gentleman fall for me. <laughs> but I imagine the scent was an important part of it. I wonder if there's some way to get that lavender. Are you? <laughs> no, you couldn't be. Huh. No, no, I'm not a witch or anything. But I did get the opportunity to talk to a certain someone. Though I'm afraid that's all I can say. <laughs> uh, all right. Then I won't even try to ask. Seriously, though, it's time for bed. We've got an early start tomorrow. Ooh, is that an invitation? I'd sleep like a baby next to you. Definitely not. Now be a good girl and go to sleep. <laughs> oh, no fair going all dad mode on me. <laughs> don't develop a d father complex, please. Don't develop a daddy complex. Oh, well. Good night, instructor. Likewise, Muse. Oh, but one last thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You and your classmates do have an effect on each other. You might be able to limit that, but you can't escape it. I'll be watching to see how that changes you. All of you. <sighs> no. <laughs> I understand. Sleep well, Instructor Reem. Hmm. Wow. Well. Ooh, boy. Girl, 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 stop. Why are you toying with me like that? The Yeagers are just going at it. Hey, Shirley. Again. Okay, this is the checkpoint. I never thought we'd be backed into a corner like this. It appears the victory is yours for the taking this time. Sorry, but we'll be doing away with our agreement with the government. Ooh. Yeah? 
and will you cover the penalty fee? You'd better make up for the loss. You have a lot of answers for it after all the trouble you caused. Oh, don't worry. We know. We've known each other for a long time. And we hope this meeting will be the last. Oh, boy. Operation complete. We'll now proceed with our final battle cry. Already won with death. We have nothing to fear. We'll show them the pride of Northambria for the last time. Yeah. Jeez. Toval and Agate. Hmm. Well, shit. Yeah, it's not look not looking good. Those are former Northern Jaegers. I'm sure they hate the Imperial Army, but they must hate the nobility more for occupying them. <laughs> the hell do they think they're gonna do? Wait, where they store the Marquis stuff? Hold on a sec, I'll confirm. What? There's no signal. Now she has a jammer. Mm -hmm. Should be about time. Oh, that's them over there. A jammer. Is... Are those the... Railway guns? What? They're attacking the army! What? Mmm, looking good. Guess you only need to lend a hand at the very end. Nice to see that jamming device worked. Campanella. And McBurn. Hey, Al. Hey, what you're both totally late, though. Why do you... Why are you making me talk You missed early? out on, on a real sexy show. Sheesh. You've really settled into being an enforcer, huh? I don't know. <laughs> Enforcers tend to slack off more than her. Oh, but at least we're in time for the next act. Oh, boy. They occupy... Oh. Oh, no. This is not good. What a hassle. Let's get this started already. <laughs> We'll need to take great care not to disturb the summer festival. Uh oh. Oh no. This does not smell good. Oh no, it's red! This is truly an honor. Oh my god. Jesus. Here, a reward. Thank you. Domination, Keep it up. thank you. I've been sticker, you material, Rosine. We received a normal mail from Rosine stating Black Markers 5 would take some time to fully analyze? Huh? That's weird. Proceed. Why? Huh. That's very, very weird. 4.30 a.m.? Uh-oh. Artillery fire! Yeah, it was crazy loud for how far away it was. It's gotta be ridiculously big. The, the railway, railway cannons. cannons! Yeah. Jeez! Are you kidding? To your stations. Bring the comm system up. I want the location of those cannons now. All Go Reen. soldats, prepare to sortie. Combat tactics, form up. Check your equipment, then double check it. All right. Now everything's going down. Jeez. Ooh. Oh, everybody. What did it hit? <gasps> Such 
firepower. Those are the new Reinford railway cannons. The ones Marquis Ballad commissioned for the Imperial Army? Sounds like they're to the east. Maybe 800 selge away. But that would be... The canyon! Where he didn't want to deploy soldiers. Here. Whew, I finally got through. Yeah, oh boy. Things are getting rough. Hey guys. Agate, are you okay? Yeah, we're fine over here. But all four of the railway cannons ballot commission were stolen. Seems oh, like they got moved shoot. to the canyon north of Raquel. Right where that cryptid showed up. How could they possibly have moved the railway cannons there? Well, they do have caterpillar track vehicles that can run on their own. Even with those, is it really possible? Heard from one of Ballad's soldiers they saw one of those ions. It just put its hand up and all the railway cannons vanished. Spatial what? transposition. The white ion can control space. That's how they moved all four cannons. Wow. That AM is going to be a pain. Oh, boy. <gasps> oh, no! The lighthouse! No! The lighthouse! How horrible! We must evacuate the citizens at once. I'll head to the canyon. Oh, me too! Then let me join you. I'm going too. The bike should speed things up. Your Excellency, Patrick, we're leaving orders to you. Oh, boy. You can't be serious. You really want to send all our troops into the canyon? That's right. We must recapture the railway cannons at all costs. And they better be unharmed. I spent good money on those cannons. What about protecting Ortis? And we can't just abandon our post here in Juno. What sort of protection can your men offer against those cannons? You can leave the naval fortress to me. My bodyguards will escort me over there post haste. Damn it. Oh, he just wants to hide somewhere he thinks he'll be safe. Yeah. General. I wasn't that far off from your boys. Into the canyon, we can't just hand this place over. I'm afraid we must. Marquis Ballad has full authority over the Unified Region's army, though we can't defy him. We must be prepared to respond to any situation. Squads 1 through 8 will deploy to the canyon under my command. Squads 9 through 12, make for Ortis. You're in charge of evacuating the citizens and damage control. Yes, Commander! He has it rough, for sure. It's just as she said. We're gonna have to walk a tightrope here. Let's just hope we don't fall. I think this is gonna get occupied because the beginning of the game it seemed like a fort and the stall rider already here. Stall rider. Hey douchebag. Fuck you for last night. Alright. It's time for your orders. Of course. The government hired Needhog, and Needhog failed, which means the Northern Jaegers are now in control of the railway cannons. And, with the help of Ouroboros, they've taken the canyon and have commenced an assault on Ortis. They may lack resources, but they have four of those cannons, meaning they can fire once every five minutes. <sighs> I can't believe you waited until things got this bad to share any information with us. <sighs> Well, with the society at large, we couldn't be too careful. Anyway, we've got a job to do. Ashen Chevalier, Reen Schwarzer. The following orders are on behalf of the Imperial Government. Uncover the goals of the society and the Jaegers, and restore order to this land. Understood. Perfect timing! Hey, Sarah! Angie! Instructor Sarah! And you guys, too! I'm headed for the canyon. What's the situation with cannons? You coming along, Reen? Yeah, let's yeah. do this. Then we're in, too. And together we can... No, you guys will stay here and stand by. But... Seriously? You leaving us behind again? It's not that. Think about it. The railway cannons are dangerous, but they're only part of the problem. 
Last night, that thing carried the cannons away, and we don't know where it might turn up next. Mm. L that's right. We'll need to be ready in case that white machine comes to us. So get prepared and stand by. Like it or not, those are your orders. Good luck, Class 7. Yes, yes sir! <laughs> Alright, taking command and actually thinking things through. And Class 7 deploys. Old Class 7, sorry. This is the last stand of those Jaegers who lost their home. Those damn idiots. I think I get it now. Why the government had Nidhogg fight the Northern Jaegers for a month straight? No matter who comes out on top, the government wins. Yeah, if the crisis is stopped, the government gets all the credit. If not, the Unified Regions Army gets all the blame. At worst, Hortus would be ruined, and the nobles lose their biggest remaining stronghold. I can't believe they go that far. Everything's just like the Chancellor planned. On top of all that, Ouroboros is carrying out the experiments. And whatever that Black Workshop's objective is, too. It's a tangled web of different plots. We'll have to figure out the knot in the middle of all of them. You're right. <clears throat> Rain and the others headed to the canyon as fast as they could. By the time they reached Raquel, most people were still asleep in their beds. How are you asleep with that noise? What? How? Five ten a.m. They're all panicking. Whoa! Goddess, please save us. This is the end of the world. Everyone, I need you to stay calm. They aren't targeting Raquel, so you're in no danger. Hey, RMP. The RMP. They're here. Indeed, Major Claire put a formal request. However, we're just a single squad and have no one to spare for the canyon. We'll take care of that. Could your team focus on keeping the citizens calm? Not a problem. The railway cannons are in a cannon to the north. The provincial army should be there to assist us soon. Take care. This is an emergency. We're just going to have to force our bikes through. We'll need to head up over the hill. Let's hurry. Oh, we out of the way! Coming through! Why do you have a broom, sir? Sorry. Why do you have a broom, dear sir? I can't get out of it. Oh, I can. Let's get going. Yeah, there's nothing right. Let's actually go to the cannon. Right where? Oh, right there, an event. <laughs> Shots fired! Distance approximately 800! We need to move! Yeah! We're going. Leave it to me! It's my turn! Right. Uh. Let's get going! It's my turn. Leave it to me. Yeah. Now let's get going. Understood. And what is here? We need to get out of here. Yeah, let's hurry. And hey there, kitties. Well, military monsters. Let's wipe them out. Right. A powerful foe. Have at you. Hmm, you don't have an S craft. Crimson Cougar. Alright, let's uh Let's battle scope you all. It's my turn. 
I'm gonna do this. Uh, spirit unification. I don't have. Let's forever. go. Uh, I can go this. Oh no, not this. Um, raging fire. Let's go. Raging fire formation. It's my turn. Crimson slash. Leave it to me. And they got scanned too, right? Yep. Perfect. On your knees. Yeah! Now. This one's mine. It's my turn. Sir! This one's on the house. Leave it to me. It's down. There we go. An opening. Break. I'm up. Still not dead. I can kill all these though. I think. Get back. You won't escape. I'm up. To normal. Leave it to me. <clears throat> ha! Leave it to me. Say. Say. It's my turn. Ha! It's my turn. Ha! No one's gonna. <laughs> it's my turn. Ha! There. Fun it's my turn. I mean, not for <laughs> break it. I mean, crit. For everyone's sake, I can't afford to lose. How's that? That Bree was striking. They're from the same region as the Northern Jaegers. Naturally, they're used by them. Tch. Their corpse is the strongest, too. It's probably the society who hired them. We don't have time to stand around. That's right. Let's make this like old times. Class 7, move out. Understood. Let's go. Hey. Sarah giving command. Let's keep going. We're still a little bit early in the episode. An hour of recording, but eh. Ah. Not good. Oh, there's the railway cannons. Jeez. Ooh. We have to stop that quick. Damn. We can't let away with this. Yeah, we need to stop them no matter what. And here they Hey, douche faces. What's up? Here they come. Intercept them. Break through. Right. Allies. Right. Ooh, all right. How big is this place? Any chest? Apparently no. But we're gonna be seeing some people. Oh, this is exactly what the prologue was. Oh yes, we are gonna fight them. That's enough. None of this blush is going to change a thing. The nobles army's occupation of Northambria was exactly what the Imperial government wanted. You have to know that. You're damn right we know. A Torkar like you would never understand. We trust to the hell to protect our homeland. It's too late now to wash the blood from our hands. That is all we have left. The only way we can bury the rage and pain of the loss. We'll die here with our heads held high as proud citizens of North Ambria. We'll die like Colonel Valenstein before us, shedding our blood on foreign soul to save our home. 
You stupid, stubborn idiots. Give it your all. <laughs> oh boy, this <laughs> this is exciting. Attack for actually greatly to see. Damage dealt and power within. Ooh. Damage temp for 20%, 20%. Forty delay damage reduction break damage hmm. where was it? Bellow Sacred Roar That's a lot. Hmm. On your knees! Now! This one's mine! It's my turn! I'll shred you to pieces! Now! There! I won't let you! Just gonna use Rain's attack <clears throat> and see who dies. I can scan some people anyway. You won't escape. Let's go. It's down. There we go. An opening. That's a fast. It's my turn. Recovery from. <laughs> and you're on break. It's my turn. Uh. This one's on the house. Here's our chance. There. It's my turn. Roaring winds? Sweep them there. away! Crafts. It's down! An opening! I'm up! Roar! Helix strike! It's down! There! Very well. I can actually... This one's already full, right? This one, the rifle one. Because I already have the other one scanned up. Take that! And heal edge for everyone. For it's thousands, my turn. Though, you guys are gonna <laughs> suck back in. <laughs> It's my turn. Sucks to suck. <laughs> now! This one's mine! It's my turn! Roar! <laughs> Helix Strike! <laughs> now! It's my turn! Oh, come on. I pressed it in time, but okay. An opening! No oh, pity. It's my turn. Now! This one's Gah. mine! Yeah! Might as well attack the one who I'm up. is almost dead. Get back! Gah. Why you? Let's go! Yeah, you're already fully Head. scanned apparently. Oh, pity. Pity indeed. There's no time to waste. I'm getting good EXP from this. Oh wait, I can't see the chest. <laughs> she's strong. As yeah, she should be. She's the curdles. Uh, 
Instructor. Oh boy, that one didn't feel so good. Yeah, but now's not the time to cry about it. Here more of them come. They're really not making this easy for us. Then we'll have to cut ourselves a path. And pierce right through. Alrighty. I forgot that I may not be able to see the chest, but there should be chests here. Because, yeah. I just don't have the person who can check that, which I believe was Yuna. Alright, more fights. Bring it. This one, be careful! Leave it to me. Let's just Lend me your strength. kill it. Well, not kill it. Got it. Fine. Leave it to me. Hit everyone like that. There's the brakes. Yeah. I'm up. All right. So I can just Second do form. this and hit everyone. It's down. There. No oh, pity. Very well. That deaf jeez. An opening. This one's mine. Yeah. I'll shrink it to pieces. Now. And some of them die. Leave it to me. Jeez. Sarah. Now. Holy. Very well. Huh? I'm up. <sighs> Spirit oh, unification. This kills everyone. It's so my turn. Faster. Arcane Gale. Gale. <laughs> it's down. There. It's my turn. Hmm. Ha! Thunder Bang! It's down! Everyone, it. lend me your strength! Got it! Leave it to Leave me! It to me. <laughs> Everyone broken. It's my turn. Now! There! Is gonna do a lot of damage, I believe. Why you? It's my turn. <laughs> it's down. There. <laughs> Very well. He has so much AP. HP, I mean. Not AP. An opening. This is an illegal this legend power, ability power. Why you? I'm up. Arcane. No uh, 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 pity. That's so much break damage, though. It's my turn. It's my turn. Huh. Crash guard. Very well. Yeah. Here's our chance. There. Let's go. It's down. An opening. 
No pity. And dead. I can always rely on you, Gaius. I'm honored to hear that, Reen. Hey, level up. Look at all that he exp jeez. <laughs> A matter of course. Uh, you still have the same thing. <laughs> Whoopee! The matter of course. Alright, more treasure chests here, but Fifty sep of each. They have the road cordoned off. Then we'll have to force our way through. Yeah, we will. Bring it. That's a strong one. Let's kick its ass. Yeah, let's do that. Spirit unification. Spirit unification! Let's go! Oh, so close to having enough for a uh, S-Craft. Arcane! Ah, damn! <laughs> it's down! Let's go, everyone! That's overkill on a lot of them, too. I'll shred you to pieces! Here's our chance! Very well. Huh? It's my turn! Arcane! Fail! Now! There! Why you? Oh, the tigers are dead. Leave it to me. Now! I just handled this so quick. Yeah! Now! There! No pity! And so, oh, okay. Jeez. <laughs> you improve so much, I barely recognize you. <laughs> it seems you're in top form again, instructor. Yeah. Ha! <laughs> EXP. Woohoo! When's Ring gonna level up? Come on. I need to keep getting better. Yeah, just like that. <laughs> they just keep on coming. Yeah. Lammy, let's knock them off their butts. <laughs> Picture of Lammy? Oh, come on, guys. Lammy's like the best character. <laughs> There's another chest up here, I guess. I After I kick these guys' let's, ass. Let's kick its ass. Yep. We will. Trust me. <gasps> Spirit unification! Let's go! And then we just do this. My blade, calm as still water. Now! I should kill almost everyone. Especially like that. Action slash fatal leaves. <laughs> Why you? Or not? I got this. Huh? One, two, three. One, two, three, four. I'll string you to pieces. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! I don't want to use S crafts because, yeah, obvious reasons. Oh! Ah! If, uh, it's down! Everyone, lend me your strength! If a boss battle is coming near, so <laughs> I don't want that. Jesus. Leave it to me! Let's go! Arcane! Ah! Damn! Ah! Ah! It's down! There! No pity. Leave it to me. It's my turn. 
It's down! An opening! Jeez, Reen. It's my turn. Take it easy on these guys. Why and you? Down, right? Yep. Uh, take that! That was a really quick cast. Jeez. Instant, basically. I'm up. Arcane. Ah. Ah. Why you? And he's back to normal. No pity. And it. You're gonna use shield. Not it. well. Either way, he's dead. He can't take us out. I got this. It's my turn. Doesn't I just normal attack? Just for the hell of it. It's my turn. I got this. Oh, so close. No pity. Bye bye. There's no time to waste. Can. Okay. HP. Fresh stats when battle begins. Oh, wow. Emblem. Do I have emblem? Multiplying number of items drops by two only when the user kills the enemy. All right, got it. Well then, that's pretty useful. What's up here? Oh boy, it's a treasure chest. Chrono break. All right. There's a save station up here. So let's just save. Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna leave this episode here. I know, I know, you guys wanna... Wanna go there and we... We all wanna fight. But I wanna leave it here, guys. It's already a pretty lengthy episode. And I feel like it's gonna be jam-packed with action. So, look forward to next episode. Anyway... If you guys are enjoying these videos as much as I am, please leave a like and share, that always helps out. Subscribe to become part of Moonlight Army today. Click that bell icon to be notified when I upload a new video. If you guys want to stalk me on my social medias, the links will be in the description box below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. So, take care guys, and bye bye